Hi guys, welcome back to I'll Read What She's Reading. I'm Kennedy. I'm Reggie. And I'm Michaela. And those of you on YouTube are getting a special treat right now. We are currently wearing, drum roll please, <laughs> our merch. merch. Woo! We picked it up today and we are so excited about it. Oh, yeah, we, you guys should have seen us. We will show you eventually. Us I mean, up the, the box. by the time this episode's out, we probably have posted about it. Yeah. Already, yeah. But this is the first time we're wearing it, like, to record the podcast, so that's fun. <laughs> he comfy cozy vibes we love the colors they're blue green you guys it took us so long to nail everything down for you guys like colors took forever design took forever and it was nothing to do with our designer we were just so indecisive and we wanted it to be so perfect for you guys mm -hmm. and we wanted nothing less than us to be obsessed with it as well so we're really excited to show you guys and we wanted it to be not like your typical bookish merch yeah mm -hmm. we wanted it to kind of be maybe a little bit more trendy mm -hmm. a little fun. more color yeah, yeah. modern so, but yeah all we're things. excited so stay tuned to all of our social media outlets instagram tiktok so you can get a better look at the crew neck and the t-shirt and they will go on pre-sale from September 21st to the 24th. Yes. And these are like, this is the only chance you have to get them is during this pre-sale. We will not be launching these again, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you want to shoot your shot and get one, stay tuned within the next week and a half. That's our merch. To go along with the cozy vibes of our merch, this episode is all of our fall tbr okay maybe not all of our fall tbr but some books that we have that we're going to read this fall slash yes. wanting to read i'm yeah. hoping i can get through all of these but i don't know we shall see i'm being over overly ambitious i am for too. this fall so <laughs> don't this quote summer? us on this <laughs> i'm yeah. so excited for fall oh i'm so excited too in utah Real. we've had a few like days where it's been like 65 70 mm, it's been so fun we wear so sweaters. nice yeah beautiful. and then the next day is like 90 so utah weather it's bipolar who wants to start i'll start okay, with yeah. um just like the classic fall christmas i feel like i'm behind on this but i have not read all of the harry potters i've only read the first two so i'm hoping this fall that i can finish all of the harry potters if it makes you feel any better, I haven't read any of them. I know. I They're actually either. so good. Oh, I so good. Um, at least the first two. Um, so I'm really excited. It's just harder for me to get into them because they're just... They're young adult, which I love young adult, but there's like... I also love romance. Some aspect of romance. Mm -hmm. And I've heard there is a little bit, you know, a little bit of spark between some characters. Um... But yeah, I'm excited for you to read them. I mean, Have I know you? everything that happens from the movies. I've read. The I've first never watched the movies. I was too. gonna ask if you've read or seen the movies. Mm -mm. Oh, that'll be so fun! You can like binge yeah. the movies. So I'm watching each movie after I finish the book. So I've watched the first two movies. Oh, fun! Yeah, so it's fun. You up, Reggie? Me? Um, I'll get this one out of the way. I'm I gonna read know, Crescent you, City I this knew you were fall. Going to say that. <laughs> But it's because I'm going to have so much more time on my hands. And so I'm really looking forward to like being able to have more than like an hour to read where I can sit down and just be cozy, mm -hmm. read a book. Well, I'm so excited. I'm really trying to pick a weekend where we all just binge the Crescent City books. Yes. yes. So we can all react and be there together maybe do a type of vlog mm -hmm. while reading them mm -hmm. so hopefully we can make that happen all of our schedules are like a little bit crazy but we're hoping that in the winter we'll be a little less busy and we and can it'll be cozy vibes i mean yeah. we're hoping to start it in the fall mm -hmm. so we're hoping we can like rent an airbnb and just kind of binge binge we gotta we gotta read them before the new one comes out in January. yeah of course we're, we'll get there the amount of times i've scrolled so fast on tiktok <laughs> yeah because of crescent city you know what i i love how much you guys like crescent city and all the things that happen i just my scroll game has become 
<laughs> way good <laughs> i'm like <"Ooh." laughs> so all right kennedy Sweet. what's on your list okay this isn't really a fall book but i pre-ordered this book probably like two months ago and i completely forgot about it oh oh because i got a tiktok from this author i think she's self-published i don't know if she's self-published or what but i ordered this book she sold me on it so fast when i saw her tiktok so i ordered it came in the mail like three days ago and i completely forgot i ordered it oh it's called assistant to the villain oh yeah by hannah nicole may sorry i don't know how to say your last name basically it's the way she described it was like it's once upon a time meets the office so it's like <sighs> fantasy but also with the office so i think from what i gathered it's like a comedic fantasy book oh oh where she up. works for the town's infamous villain okay. as his assistant. Assistant. what did you say it was called assistant to the villain i've actually seen so many tiktoks about it and don't doesn't the book have like red edges yeah it's that's actually, so cool it's a really cool looking book yeah and i just love that i don't know once again i don't know if she's self-published or what but she was on tiktok grinding advertising her own book and sold me so well, at least i it. worked on one person hey. go you yes and now all of you are gonna read it so i'm really excited that's so exciting I'm excited i'm a sucker for the office so same sounds oh. right up my alley i love the office so much it's a i'm in an office group chat with a bunch of people that just send office memes I that's my it. favorite thing I we don't it. talk <laughs> besides office memes they have the, the office has the best memes though oh the, absolutely by far by far don't come at me okay oh i forgot what i was gonna say to be honest <laughs> what books well obviously iron flame oh oh heck yes mm, without a doubt but i feel like that's gonna be something i finish in a day or mm-hmm. two binge that mm-hmm. so i'm hoping that will just get checked off real quick oh i'm so excited. Oh, can't wait yeah, so but excited. have you guys seen her tiktok where she compares the sizes of oh yeah it's a thick queen. boy yeah thick boy yeah i'm really glad it has the sprayed edges too i mean i'm a little sad about not having the dragons but mm-hmm. Kate, i saw a girl on tiktok give a tutorial on how to do it i would f it up so fast i don't trust myself <laughs> no i don't either but i saw her do it and i was like that looks easy but <laughs> you know it probably wouldn't be but i was impressed but yeah i have seen people spray their own edges too and it looks really good i am mm-hmm. just not an arts and crafts girl nope. and everyone that is i love that for you can mm-hmm. i send my book that's what i was Seriously. gonna say there's to people you? who do that like that will bind books like have you seen how there is a i don't know if it's just like a girl who just does it herself or like a some sort of company they made like a tandem read of yes yes uh tower of dawn and empire of storms or the fan fiction of Resan's point of view yes they like will bind it for you and send it to you okay the t- crazy the <laughs> i commented on because i saw on instagram actually the books combined for the tandem read i said my wrist hurts from looking at it <laughs> that's so Seriously, true Seriously, that that how many be, pages it'd be like reading a textbook yes it was it. so <laughs> thick it looked really beautiful i want it oh I, you know what i want is that beautiful edge sprayed oh yes glass. you do the one that's like from <sighs> it's not in english isn't it in a different language no i swear i almost bought english. it for you for birth for your birthday <gasps> oh i don't think it's out yet i need to oh there's one from a different country that i almost bought you for your birthday <gasps> So if fun. you ha- if you don't if you guys don't know this throne of glass is like michaela's favorite series of all time a lot of people have actually found our podcast from michaela crying about <laughs> throne of glass so <laughs> but i almost bought it for you because oh, it really? was in it it was the most beautiful book i've ever seen but i was like she's never gonna actually be able to read, read this because it's not in English. i also but. want the mini versions of them too have you those. have you seen the mini ones um for each book we are off on such a, t- <laughs> <laughs> such a tangent. I love it. But each book, the mini ones, says stuff about a certain character. Yes. Oh. I love it. So mm, I think Air of Fire that. was Manon. Yes. One no, was... Er, Queen of Shadows. Queen of Shadows was Manon. One, obviously, one was Dorian. One, yeah. So on and so forth. But love the Cute. Babies. Sorry. That was just... That was a tangent. I'm sorry. That was the most random tangent. Anyways. Iron Flame. Can't wait. <laughs> How did we go from that? We don't okay. know. We're on the edge of our seat, Rebecca. Rebecca. So we wouldn't complain if we got an arc. We're your biggest fan. So honestly, we'd love to have her on our podcast too. 
Mm-hmm. If anyone has any connections, let us know. Mm-hmm. You're up. Oh, I'm up. Yeah, Reggie's up. Okay. I, I don't think I've talked about this book before. Um, I haven't seen anything about it on TikTok. I it literally has seven ratings <gasps> on oh. Goodreads. But I personally know of this author, and oh. so I really want to read her book. And my cousin read it, and she loved it. And so I'm really excited to read it. Um, it's by Madison Boyer she's from cache valley utah where we are from um and it's called the method to infinite things oh and then it says a gripping dystopian adventure and i've been wanting to read a good like dystopian book i've been reading a lot of fantasy Mm -hmm. haven't really read i mean i read the selection that's probably the most recent like dystopian thing but i want something like super adventurous so this just seems like kind of like right up my alley for what i'm wanting to read Mm -hmm. as far as dystopian goes um so it just follows this girl and her chaos ensues as she like has some invention or something and i don't know it just sounds really exciting it's only a 300 page book too so it's like shorter we like that i think it's supposed to be i don't actually know if it's supposed to be a series so i think it's just a standalone Mm -hmm. um but yeah go add it to your tbr because I'm just, it has very high ratings from the seven that are already up there. And I'm really looking forward to reading it. We love so. a good dystopian. Yeah. Yeah. And you That's heard it here first on I'll Read What She's Reading. She only has seven reviews. Seven reviews. But not for long. I'm going to race you to be the eight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, this is kind of another side tangent. Reggie, we're shooting a wedding next September. The groom is an author. Did you know this? Shut up. He has written so many books. His name is ha- Henrik Roden. I don't know how to Wait, say his last name. what kind of books? Are they... They're fantasy dystopian. Wow. Stop. Yeah. yeah. That's so Anyways, exciting. Fun fact. That's way cool. Look, well, it might be on my fall t- TBR. I'm not sure. However, this book for sure is on my fall TBR. It's called The X-Hex. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That. It's like a witchy. Yeah. It's a very... I think it's talked about a lot on TikTok. Um, it's like a witchy romance, I believe. It's by Aaron Sterling. And so, you know, in the fall, you got to read a little bit of kind of Halloween-y, witchy mm-hmm. vibe books. So that one's on my fall TBR. I love it. I love it. Okay. I just have to look at my books over my shoulder because I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, this is one I'm really excited to read. And I have almost gotten spoilers so many times on TikTok. It's Once Upon a Broken Heart. Ooh. Oh, and yeah, I am so excited because I've read the Carval series. I've just been like waiting. I don't know why. Can you wait for me? Yeah, to wait. Read Carval. Yeah. I'll read it. I'm Carval's what? the next book I'm gonna read. <sighs> okay. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. I can wait. Okay. I can wait. Okay. I am so freaking excited. I might need a little recapping on okay. Carval. Um, because I love Car- Carval. That entire series is like just like a vibe. How many books are there? Remind There's three. 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 And Carval and Once Upon a Broken Heart are in the same world, correct? Yes. Is that what I've gathered? There is one character that goes into <gasps> Once Upon a Broken Heart. Okay. Like, it's about that one character. Okay. I won't say uh, which one. Okay. Okay. Um, but I'm just like, oh, I just, I'm so excited because I've heard so many good things. Like, it literally, I don't know, maybe it might be a little overhyped, but so many people have said, like, this book is so freaking good you're gonna feel all of the emotions and i'm like okay give it to me i'm a little sad though because i do think that a lot of people are on pins and needles for this third book in the series because it ends the second one ends on such a cliffhanger oh really and i kind of wish i got to experience having to wait like in fourth Mm, week yeah i kind of wish i could experience that but yeah i've heard the second one ends on an insane cliffhanger i'm just so excited i just think she's a pure genius Mm. um yeah i'm just so excited i'm so excited for you guys to read carval Ooh, i'm stoked because i just i just love certain characters will you wait for me though <laughs> yeah I will you don't wait. have to i will wait to. i will wait i have lots of books to read okay. so i'll wait okay same lots of books as we are talking about but is it my turn wait mm-hmm. yeah it is it's your turn. so i was scrolling through my tbr and i was like it's fall cozy halloween I want a really good thriller. And it's funny because when I scroll on Goodreads, I feel like thrillers don't get rated 
very high just because I think people are a little more critical because they tend to like try and figure things out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this isn't like a specific book per se, but I've only read one Lisa Jewell book, but I want to read one of Lisa Jewell's books. Um, One that actually has pretty high ratings came out like it says September 6th, 2023, like literally today. What? But it already has 50,000 ratings. And it's called None of This is True. Okay, wait. That came out this year? Because I have it on my Libby. It's on my hold for oh, Libby. Oh, really? I wonder and if it, it says, got like... It literally says it's going to take 25 weeks for me oh, to get wait, this wait, book. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. No, it, I added it to my to be read today because oh. I was scrolling. Okay, sorry. I was like, <laughs> like how? What? I was like, how does this already have 50,000 reviews? No, sorry. I was misunderstanding Goodreads for a second. Um, so yeah, 50,000 ratings. It has a 4.27 star rating, which I feel like is pretty high. Yeah, for. it's pretty high. So maybe that's the one that I will read. But the other Lisa Joel book I read was Then She Was Gone. And I really enjoyed that one. So I kind of have like forgotten about Lisa until I was like scrolling today. And I was like, wait, she has a lot of thriller books. And I've liked the one I read in the past. So none of this is true. Might just have to be my one of my like thrillers for mm. october there you go so i like that yeah going along these two are gonna be like kennedy i can't believe you're gonna read that book but my curiosity just i have to read it and i think october Ooh. and fall is the perfect time to read this what book, book is, do you know what book this is reggie tender is, is the flesh yeah. oh i i've had it available in my libby hold like it's come up as I've been able to read it probably six different times. And I just am like, I'm waiting till October. I'm waiting till October. I just am so intrigued for those of you who don't really know about tender as a flesh. Essentially it's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a book about cannibalism. Okay. That sounds crazy, but from some of the people that I've talked to or seen or read their reviews that have read this book, they just say that, yeah, it's about cannibalism, but also it makes you like think about life. Hmm. so we'll see it's also only like 250 pages i'm gonna let you read it first (laughs) yeah and then you tell us because i do not want to read it until i know someone personally yeah yeah that has read it and can literally say michaela you're gonna hate that or michaela you're gonna like this Hmm. i don't think i'm gonna recommend it to either of you two but my curiosity just i can't it's killing me and i just i decided you know what i just feel like I'll try it. Do you have it on your Libby as an audiobook or a, a physical Kindle? book? Okay. To mm, actually okay. read. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it, but we'll see. It's like one of the first books I want to read in October. It might be a DNF. It might be. It might mm. be too much for me to handle, but we'll see. Mm. Mm. I think mm. if you can handle and stomach the Mind F series, you <laughs> might be. Able, I don't know. I don't know. I don't we'll know. find actually, out. JK, we'll find I don't out. know. We'll find out. Okay. Um, another one that I have physically that's just waiting on my shelf to be read to be touched to be loved <laughs> that sounds so bad <laughs> is stalking the jack jack the ripper or stalking i think that's right Ooh. i just got a tiktok of fan art jack for that. the ripper i don't know that kind of sounds like halloween october vibes stalking jack the ripper let's see what else is uh, I, mean, I love me stalking vampires, or so. hunting prince jack dracula escaping from houdini in capturing the devil is all of those books do you have them all yes i want to read those with you in october that sounds good Uh, i legit might go order them right now (laughs) okay i mean i just got the box set so uh i i don't know i'm excited and it's it's young adult so i'm not expecting anything like super crazy but you know i think it just sounds really entertaining so sure yeah and a good fall read Mm -hmm. especially for october yeah yeah okay i've been trying to think of like a good solid romance book oh but this is what's hard is though i feel like the ones i want to the one i'm really dying to read is in a series and it's like a big book so i'm like a little scared to read it what is it the um the windy city trilogy oh yeah i've just heard so many good things about it but i don't think i've heard i don't know if all these books i'm sharing i'm like if i'm gonna read crescent city (laughs) carval some thrillers and windy city hey september to november man that's fall yeah so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get all of those books in but 
when I think of like the next kind of romance book I want to read, I'm just mostly intrigued by this book because of how hyped it's been on TikTok. But like I've heard the second book's the very best. The first book is still supposed to be good, but 600 pages, you guys. It's a sports romance. It's a sports romance. Mile High or yeah. Windy City? Yeah. I so just looked. I and Ooh, everyone that I've heard that has read it is like this man in this book is the absolute standard. Oh. So I'm so intrigued, but we'll see if it, I mean, I have it on my TBR for hope this fall. We'll just see if I can squeeze it in with everything, but. <laughs> to the bottom of the yeah, barrel. I mean, it's like, yeah, this is probably like at the bottom of my list right now, but it's 600 pages. Maybe I can try and get it as like an audio book, but it's 600 pages. And we know how I feel about long romance books Wait, that are just it. romance. So I don't know how long the second one is. The second, I mean, I saw it was like 300 something. 417. Why is the first one so long? And the third one is this is not out yet. (gasps) Oh. Comes out in October next month. Perfect. So. That is, that's literally perfect. Perfect. Yeah. It might be perfect timing if I can get it read. I mean, that's a long, long book for a sports romance. But I mean, I'm intrigued and I haven't read, I don't think I've read a sports romance. Oh, you're going to have some fun. Okay, real quick. <laughs> real quick. I'm just going to put <laughs> this out there. Okay, what? Anyone has a recommendation. If there's a book about tennis, a romance tennis book, I want to read it. Because I'm a tennis girly now. And I just... The only tennis book I read is Carrie Soto is back. And if you listen to last week's episode, you know how I feel about that book. I need like a r- tennis romance book. If anyone knows where I can get my hands on one of those. So just had it. I think that Tessa Bailey is making one. I think Tessa Bailey. Do- golf. She's doing. A she's golf going one. off on sports romance. Yeah. She is doing a golf one, and I'm really excited for it. Is it I, Tessa Bailey? Please hmm, do a tennis know. one. There's got to be one out there. I think I swear I saw someone. Maybe she's in the process of writing. Let's look. I know she's doing a golf one, and I, I asked my that. husband if he would read that book, and he's like, maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh, could you the imagine him reading you could get of Kyle? Imagine him reading a Tessa Bailey book. Yeah, you can't tell him. You can't give him any details other than this is about golf. It might just be the cover that, um, but oh my gosh, her covers used to be really something. (laughs) Ooh, nice. Those were in like 2015. I'm glad we've the cartoons. I'll take the cartoons. I will take the cartoons as well. I'm just kidding. I could be lying. Don't quote me on. Okay. I'll go comment on Tessa's TikTok and say, Hey, I'm requesting a tennis romance, please. She'll, get, she'll write a good one for you. Oh. Them. Oh, she would. Okay. Okay. My next fall TBR. I don't know why I have so many series. So, Seriously. like Reggie, I don't know if I'll be able to get to all these. The whole Miss Bourne series is on my fall TBR. And mm-hmm. it's become kind of a joke. Here's the two jokes we have on this podcast. We haven't read Crescent City. We haven't read Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> LOL. But we're so quirky. Those are soon going to change. I saw a TikTok that basically described Miss Bourne as having an underdog female main character with an incredible magic system with a ton of action. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I've just been craving like Throne of Glass vibes for so long. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of feel like Miss Bourne might give me a little bit of that. So it's on my tbr and honestly the books really aren't super big they're like probably 400 pages do you know how long the audiobooks are no 24 hours so hold on Let me it's see just how long the these are. the book is so long so it's it, five they're 537 pages so i guess they're pretty average but like on my shelf they look like they're like an inch and a half thick they don't look that thick it's just because they're longer if you oh, see the other ones that are shorter I they're see. like this thick i get what you mean mm. I get what you mean. Yeah. But anyways, I'm going to give Brandon Sanderson a try. Same. Will Can't you wait, wait for me? I will wait for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're up, McKinley. Oh, it's me. It's me again. Also, a lot of the books that I am going to be reading depends on when they show up in my Libby app. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Relatable. Because um, I have been waiting lots of weeks for some books. Uh, still got like 17 weeks uh, with Mongol. Mang- <laughs> Mongol. <laughs> I don't know why I, I don't know why you want to say like Mongolian grill, but it's Magnolia Parks. 
I think you're gonna absolutely hate the book though, Michaela. <laughs> I think you will hate it. I loved it, but I think you're gonna hate it. Here's the thing. They are are they in high school? No. College? Yeah. Yeah. They're probably like Yeah. They're old enough to like drink and okay. go to clubs and whatnot. See, I don't here's the thing. Miscommunication show up. I know I said that. I hate it mostly when they're like really old. Older. Okay. I see what you're saying. Like, like they're too mature for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if it's like Gossip Girl vibes, I loved Gossip Girl. Is it very yeah. different? No, it reminds me a lot of Gossip Girl. Like, but they're Chuck just older. Bass and Blair Waldorf okay. vibes. Yeah. The vibe of Gossip Girls there, but like not really Gossip Girl. If that makes sense. Okay. I saw a girl on TikTok. She was tabbing Magnolia Parks, and this is one of the things. Not to get into Magnolia Parks, but this is one of the things that I kind of hated she goes into detail of what she wears like brands mm. fabrics year year the brand released it like head to toe of so many different characters and the girl printed out all the outfits and stuck them on the page so then she could visually see wow. what everybody was wearing it was actually really cool That's the way amount cool. of work that had to have gone into that oh but the amount of for sure but like i'm telling you it happens so often that it would have been nice to be able to picture what they were all wearing mm. I wish I was like a fashion girl like be like yeah I totally know what that is yeah but that is not a part of the world I live in I have no idea anything designer what year what kind of fabric it is I need I need you guys to read Magnolia Park so I want to know your thoughts I, I, I don't would love to have it on my TBR I, for fall but we'll see I do not think you guys are gonna rate it very high I would be so surprised if you rated it five stars like me mm. we'll see we <laughs> will see okay i mean if that comes that will be on my fall tbr but uh it goes like 17 weeks so is that that's way out of fall you can also borrow mine if you ever want to read it winter just be nice I, to her i got the cute covers i know i'm that's what i'm worried about i hate borrowing books for that reason because if i destroy my own it's my own fault true mm -hmm. sorry my turn mm -hmm. okay um i decided i need to read a Kristen and hannah book because I haven't read any of her books yet and everyone I know that has read her books for the most part just loves them. Um, one of my friends recently read like three of her books within like a month and she's just obsessed. She's like all her reviews. She doesn't write a lot of reviews on her Goodreads but when she does it's like she's just praising Kristen Hanna. So I think probably I'll start with her most popular book, The Nightingale. Mm. I'll yeah. read that with you. Um, it's a really long book it's almost 600 pages oh my that's why i haven't read it yet it's goodness <laughs> i'm telling you guys what genre is it um it's, it's kind of a historical fiction I isn't think it it's historical oh, fiction. okay so i'm very excited to to read it just because i've heard that like everyone just ugly cries the entire book and it's just like a very breathtaking story and I just don't read enough of those. And so I need a little bit of that in my life. You know, there's nothing better when you're crying and you're like cozy and it's fall. It's not really fun to cry in the summer. I don't know. Maybe that's a weird comment to make. <laughs> <laughs> fall like, outside, we don't want to cry. Don't cry. But fall like, you know, a gloomy crying. day, you just want to cry your heart out from a book. Yeah. Sign me up. So, oh, well, yeah. I love a good cry. I think um, you tell me how that is. And I will possibly add it. I have a feeling it might take me a while to read. We'll see. Every historically kind of fiction book I've read besides um, The Book Thief has been very hard for me to get through. But it doesn't mean I dislike the book. Yeah. So, we shall see. To be continued. I have the book if you want to borrow it. Oh, you do? That's why I think I need to actually read it. You, of, you have the book i have the book <laughs> it's one of the it's one of the first books i bought <laughs> when i started to read because my mom was like have you read the nightingale by Kristen hannah and i'm like no okay weird weird tangent but do you guys ever like look at the books that physical books you have on your bookshelf and you like feel bad that you haven't read them yet yeah like sometimes i feel like, like I they need have like, feelings yeah i sometimes i feel like i need to just like go like just pick up the book and just hold it for a second because <laughs> i like feel bad that it's just been sitting there i'm like i promise i'm getting to you 
eventually yeah yeah just get excited about new books and then it just i get really funny because all these books that i've said are on my tv i don't think i have the physical <laughs> copy <laughs> <laughs> no that's fun well crescent city i do but yeah everything else, we are no, all yet. pre-ordered crescent city already mm-hmm. oh, yeah. from walmart and iron flame <sighs> for that specific do I, reason do i need to cancel my order should where i where do you have it where'd you order it from amazon i have mine on amazon too mine's from walmart but you know i probably should get the walmart one here's the thing who publishes her books is it bloomsbury yeah you can read all the extra chapters on That's their true. website so it's like no i think you just leave it i think the reason i left it is because i could get it a day sooner on amazon well, that's what i, I think so. Walmart. but the thing is is you could literally go into walmart the and day of if you it. wanted to try and get it yeah i guess that's true but i mean we live in a small town sometimes i'll, I'll fight i'll elbow someone for it well sometimes they're really bad at stocking books up like every time i go to our walmart section it's always empty Maybe we need to go have a word with the manager of Walmart okay. and just be like, hey. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Interesting. Well, I know. I wonder who... Sorry, this is a weird tangent. I wonder if people are pre-ordering or if they're betting on just going into Barnes & Noble or whatever store that's selling it and just picking up the physical copy. I bet it's like 50-50. You think it's 50? I is, think, you think it's risky? so fun. It's risky, yeah. Because what if you can't... Like, all the copies are sold out and you, you can't... just order it online. I know, but then it wouldn't come to like two days later true okay but what if you went to like what if we went to like the book table would the book table have it the day it releases mm. probably not they might have like one or two copies i don't know i don't know i, don't know. I just think it sounds we're in a fun small to little walk. town yeah. yeah we're in a small it just sounds so fun to like walk into a store and just be maybe like maybe we should just go even though we have the books we should and just watch watch chaos ensue i don't maybe know maybe there would fun. be no chaos and we just create the chaos ourselves <laughs> get out of my way like kennedy <laughs> we fight each beep, other beep, beep, beep. we're like what <laughs> you pretend we don't know each other start fights <laughs> i would love it i Let's would love do it, it. do TikTok it for the video. content <laughs> it's like don't you guys do a podcast together no no i no. don't know no, these I, girls this are. girl in the same sweatshirt as me <laughs> oh man oh, sorry man. that was the weirdest tangent ever we love the tangents it's, it's just all right the episode you guys came here for the fall tbr and we're not we're giving you tangents okay last book right yeah is this mm-hmm. last one i once again just feel like stephen king is kind of fall mm-hmm. vibes i'm trying to branch out michaela's face is like well don't yeah. mind too um i just feel like i need to read one of his books you know classic horror but I, this book isn't i don't believe is horror anyways fairy tale by stephen king it's a good like dip your toes in the Stephen King it's not like it or the shining it's literally about a fairy tale it says he goes like it's about a 17 year old boy who inherits the keys to a parallel world where good and evil are at war Ooh, mm. sounds like fantasy vibes and I'm here for it yeah cool so I'm gonna give Stephen King a try I love that my husband's uncle was like you need to read fairy tale by Stephen King I'm like all right I will <laughs> twist my arm <laughs> twist my arm. i don't think he understands what kind of books i read mm. this might be your vibe i think so but i mean i think it'll be good i just don't think he whenever people ask like you know especially like relatives or like uncles like so you're doing a podcast i'm like yeah they're like so you just like talk about books i'm like yeah like, yeah we play smash or pass or <laughs> f mary kill and they're like so like what kind of books do you like and i'm like um i read i read everything Mm-hmm. I'm like have you read this i'm like no <laughs> i have not but i will add it to my list i'm really trying hard to diversify the type of authors that i l- read because mm. i feel like i read a lot of women authors and just like the same type of author you know mm-hmm. what i mean so i'm trying to you know give men a shot <laughs> <laughs> give stephen king a chance give Fred and Sam well, a, chance. Anderson a chance stephen king he once again t- again <laughs> i just made up a word <laughs> he i mean i don't know if you guys have seen it or the shining oh i watched mm-hmm. a whole 30 minute video on the making of the it movie and i was terrified <laughs> it is like the shining terrifying mm-hmm. it's like a f- psychological yeah thriller and 
Isn't Absolutely the, terrifying. Where's Johnny? Yes. Isn't that the yes. Movie? Yes. <laughs> That's really good. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. It. How the freak do you come up with that stuff? I don't know. I don't it's know, literally it's the scary. most terrifying movie. I I hate scary movies. You guys, I hate them. My husband loves them. He loves Ooh. them. I will literally be like this. <laughs> Yeah, you can't I, I see. I'm literally movies. covering my eyes the entire time. And when it is that his name? I don't know the. Cla- mm. I don't know the. I don't know. I can't. Remember. When he transforms and like unhinges his jaw and like. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I mean they've made so many of his books into movies. So oh yeah, I'm sure he's a fantastic author, and just creates these insane scenarios, worlds. Where I wonder what he's like in, in person. I know. I Maybe I should him. look him up because I have no idea what he looks like. Let's look. I envision him looking like Steve Jobs. So, no, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's good. We do know what Brandon Sanderson looks like, and we also live pretty close to him. So, we'll just knock on his door. What if you just like called Brandon up? <laughs> what <if you> just <laughs> <laughs> called him up, knock on the door, be like, hey. Let's read your book together. Let's dissect it. Read to me. Read. On that note, there were some of the books that are on our fall TBR. We're very excited. Um, are we going to be able to get through all of these? Probably. Hopefully. Not. We'll see what my Libby app tells me I can read. <laughs> but once again, just reminding you that our merch will be available so soon. And we're so excited. If you're listening on your favorite podcast app, go take a look at our YouTube or look at our Instagram or our TikTok, where I'm sure we'll be posting so much about this. And got anything else to add, you guys? I think that's it. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.